John, do you think the quality of shows on cable is higher than those that are on network TV, and why? They are higher quality on cable than on network, and it has to do with a, a major structural problem that the networks deal with, which is that, first of all, they have to do anywhere up to 24 episodes per season. A, a cable show like uh, an HBO show, A Game of Thrones, for example, 10 episodes per season. Uh, the Sopranos, 13 episodes per season. The requirement of doing 24 shows versus 12 shows is immense because what writers don't realize is that a single episode of television, whether for network or for cable, is approximately half the length of a feature film. And yet, on television, you have to then write half of a feature film, sometimes as quickly as once a week. Now that is tremendously difficult. In a screenplay for a feature film, if you wrote it in three months, that would be outrageously fast. So the requirement to do this at a high speed and maintain the quality is just immense. And there is simply no way that a staff, even a large staff, of a network show can produce that kind of quality at the same rate that a show on, on HBO can. And that's the biggest problem. You also get the problem that network shows tend to meddle much more in the creative process, the writing process, than on the cable shows. Now, we do have to make a distinction between paid cable, like an HBO, and cable that has commercials, right, like an AMC. Now, AMC also has tremendously high level of quality. You get shows like Mad Men, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, three of the best shows on television. Um, but again, the number of episodes per season, much less. You look at a show on network, like The Good Wife. The Good Wife is the best written drama show on network television. And the, the fact that they can do that kind of quality with the number of episodes that they have to do compared to, say, an HBO show, to me, is, is the real story there. I mean, that, that, that show is phenomenal given the requirements that they are, that, and, and the obstacles that they have to overcome to write at that level. Do you think also the fact that on network certain subjects are off-limit or you can only explore them to a certain length? Whereas with cable, it can be more of an R-rated type of a show and therefore have more of a following? Do you think that factors in at all? Or no? I think that there has for many years been that perception that on an HBO type of show, you can have more nudity. You can have, in terms of the level of violence, for example, or uh, drug, you use. Know, drug use, use of language, and so on and so forth. But I think that's really a false indicator because, you know, the, it, it might have been true when really HBO was first coming on and we had this strong contrast and people had never seen this before on their home television. But it's now been that way for such a long time that that kind of difference isn't really that big of a deal anymore. And Network has pushed it much further than they ever did in terms of subject matter, nudity, and so on and so forth. So to me, that's, that's really a false indicator. And, and those elements really have nothing to do with the quality of the story. What you see on these cable shows is the story quality. The level of story is so high. The, 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 quality of the writers working on these staffs is so good 
that that's what's bringing them back, especially when you keep in mind that almost all of these shows that are so highly rated are all serials. So it means that these are writers who are, again, tracking over an entire season, which is 10 times more difficult than creating a great story in a single 45-minute episode.